So the, the name of the poem is called A Day of Love. Drip, 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 drip. Bed rolling, people talking, adrenaline pumping, anxiety. Sirens blaring, speeding, rushing to the scene. Well, that's how it happened for me. Jumping up the steps to the sound of trouble, bursting through the doors. My heart racing, filled with suspense, to find a helpless soul, full of devotion, love, and beauty. Dulcie Louise Bryson, the one that lives through me. On the day of love, it almost turned into tragedy. Walking in to find my grandmother on the floor when he had me. Standing there clueless to the situation, sweaty palms, head spinning, and my body shaking. I didn't know what to do to see her there, not able to move a bone in her body. A scared feeling embraced me, sending me into a state of pain, unable to maneuver properly to be able to help her. Thoughts of eternal injury and death flashed across my mind, soon after causing me to cry. Although those tears depicted weakness, I had to put on a heroic facade to complete this chain of events, starting with the fall, forward into the call, to have to watch them take her away to the place that they say she's safe. So, in her eyes, it really happened as rushing to the scene, speed and sirens blaring, anxiety, adrenaline pumping, people talking, beds rolling, drip, 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 drip. Backwards to mom. Guilt was set upon my shoulders because I felt like I should have been there. But all I know is that February 14th would have been a big date to remember. But if it wasn't for the grace of God, my family would have mourned forever. <laughs>